welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to read sms from the user's uh, device or from his messaging app and display it inside a list view dot builder in flutter without using any third party libraries so first things first like uh, reading sms from a user's device uh, is an extremely privacy sensitive feature uh, use it if you uh, really require it don't use it just for the sake of using it and secondly this feature is only supported on android ios does not allow you to read the user's sms which i think is a good thing even android should ban it but yeah as uh, like given that it is supported i am making a video about it so here you can see my android emulator and if i click on the read sms button it will first ask me for the permission i will click on allow and here you can see uh, uh, this is my center so center is the mobile number and message is the what message I have sent so these are the two messages which are present in the inside my messaging app so if I so show you that as well so this is my messaging app and here you can see I have two messages for it so yeah let's get started as usual I have created a flutter application and I have refactored the home page widget uh, firstly to include a method channel called SMS platform next i have created a text button and on click of that button i am invoking a method called read all sms and here i am getting a string so on the native android side we will store all the data inside a list but while sending it back to flutter we will convert it to string once we get it in string we will uh, it will have some brackets right that square brackets at the start and at the bottom so i am replacing that as well i am splitting it by comma and then converting it to a list and this would be our actual list and if the list is not empty here you can see i'm uh, displaying a list view builder and here i am just taking some text this is the item count if list is empty i am displaying a size box now going to the main android folder go to build.gradle uh, make sure you are using kotlin version 1.8.20 next go to app build.gradle and here uh firstly i'm using compile hdk version 34 and min hdk version 23 target hdk version 34 as well and here you will have to add these two dependencies because uh, we need to use register for activity result that's why these two dependencies next inside src main android manifest.xml make sure you add this uses feature of android telephony required is false and uses permission of read sms next go to kotlin main activity dot kt convert this flutter activity to flutter fragment activity next uh, convert uh, firstly we will take a method channel result and uh, here i have uh, taken one list as well okay and uh, i have overridden the configure flutter engine method and this is the same method channel which we are uh, using it on the uh, native side as well uh, sorry on the flutter side as well and once that is called we call the read all sms method and we call this request permission launcher dot launch and we are requesting for this permission so it will give a callback over here and if the permission is granted we call the read sms method otherwise i'm just displaying a toast message and inside read sms we need to first create a cursor inside that we will just uh, use the telephony dot sms dot content uri and here we are just looping over looping through that and from that we will get an address body so address is your mobile number and body is the actual message content and here you can see we are adding it to our list once that is finished uh, we are closing the cursor and sending the data back to flutter side so yeah that's it uh, and here you can see uh, here you will get the result and here we are doing a lot of cleanup and just displaying it inside a list view dot builder so yeah thank you for watching bye